Ludo King game tips and strategies. If you're playing the Ludo King game with more than two players, then there are a few useful tips. Always take out the opponent. Let's say you have three tokens out moving around the board and you roll a five and you have a choice. One, to move a token to a safe square. Two, to move a token toward the final destination. Three, to knock out an opponent token back to his base. As a general Ludo game rule, always take out the opponent. So knock the opponent back because you immediately get another roll. A new roll ultimately gives you another option to move the other pieces. Try not to lose your tokens close to the home column. Let's say you have all four tokens out moving around the board and you roll a six and you have a choice. One, to move a vulnerable token that's three quarters of the way around the board to a safe square. Two, to move a token into the home column. To bring out a token from the starting base. To knock out an opponent's token back to his base. Because you rolled a six, so you immediately get another roll, it's better to take that opportunity to move a three-quarters token to the home column. New roll can again give you an opportunity to use other options. Try to stay more than six squares ahead of your opponent. The highest roll a die can have is a six. Try not to be in a position where the opponent tokens are less than six squares behind you. If you're in this situation and on your turn, you have the option to move multiple tokens. Always give the preference to that token by trying to move six squares ahead of your opponent's token or try to land on a safe square. This will reduce the chance for your opponent token to land on your token. Note, possible opponent could roll a six, which could give the opponent another roll. And if an opponent can roll the required number immediately after to send your token back to the starting base, but those odds are 1 in 25, so staying six squares ahead is fairly safe strategy. Wait and watch. If you have a token sitting on a safe square and several opponent tokens are just behind you, it's good to wait the other opponent tokens out until they've passed you. That'll give you the opportunity to roll upon them and send them back to the starting base. Ludo King Loophole. When playing Ludo King, you can use diamonds. One of the game's two commodities to grant yourself an immediate second roll if you don't like your first roll. This doesn't give you successive rolls, but it does give you the chance of changing your first roll. By using diamonds to do this, you can improve your chances of getting the die roll you want from 1 in 6 to 1 in 3. But remember, diamonds actually cost money through the in-app purchases and must be purchased from the app store. I'm sure after learning these useful tips, you'll definitely improve your Ludo game play consistently. And if you follow these tips, you'll have an advantage over other players who aren't using any real strategy at all. If you like the video, hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel.